Hi folks, today I'm going to be showing how I use the UAD API Vision channel strip to finish the mix on this horn section that I've been working on. I have eight trumpet tracks and eight trombone tracks, all of which were recorded through an Audio-Technica AT4050 microphone. And it was pretty close mic, so you get a very bright and direct sound from it. What I'd like to do with the API is melt it all together and give it a more cohesive, fuller bodied sound. Now in this sequence I've got some more legato sections like you're hearing right now, and then you've also got some bright punchy stuff, like that, which is much more percussive. So let me show you how I can use the API to accomplish this. First I'm going to unbypass the whole plugin, so audio is now passing through it. I don't really need to tweak the mic pre, it's set just fine the way it is. But let me come to the filter, and I am going to use the high pass filter to get rid of any low end junk that might have seeped in through the mic. For both trumpet and trombone, there's not a lot of sonic information below about 100 or 150 hertz. This is something I like doing on any non kick or bass track, just to keep the mix clean. I don't really need the gate or expander, but I would like to use the compressor. Let me engage that. And now I'm going to turn the threshold up gradually until I see the LEDs start to light up, which means the compressor is actively compressing the sound. You can see when I get those percussive peaks, the compressor is really tamping down on that. It's set to about a 4 to 1 ratio right now, which is fine. I might back it off just a little bit so that the effect is a little more subtle and invisible. What this is really doing is gluing together the horn section a little bit more dynamically. Next thing I'm going to do is come over to the EQ module. The recordings came out just a little bit thinner than I would have liked, but the API is brilliant at warming up and fixing issues like this. Here I'm actively tweaking at about 200 Hz and adding some gain, which is really going to warm up and round out the sound. I think I'll also add a little bit in the next register, about 240 Hz. And now that section is feeling a lot more baked together and warmer. Let me rewind to the beginning of the sequence and I'll show you the before and after. Here's with, and here's without. Here's with. Quite a dramatic difference. I'm also going to add a little bit of top end sparkle, somewhere around the 10k range, and give it a little boost. So there's a quick bird's eye view to show you how I've used the API Vision channel strip to make it sound exactly how I'd like it to sound. One more time, here's with, here's without, and here's with again. 